Hey guys, how's it going? Now, let me just a second to get this mic. Okay. Clear a little view here so you can see. All right, amigos. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to the show. How you doing? Um, Tom and uh, we're going to cook something. Uh, today we're going to cook um, trout, slashed trout, trout that's uh, baked high temperature, 475. You want your oven to 475. Go ahead and let it warm up. And we're going to need, uh, we need potatoes. So we got ourselves some potatoes. Um, I usually don't peel the potatoes. Kind of a rustic can of guys. So I like to just leave them unpeeled and scrub them really good. And for this dish, we're just gonna need like, uh, if you got a cast iron, that's really good to use some sort of uh, pan put in the oven if you want to use like a casserole dish or something like that that's great so we got our trout fillets um, we got potatoes and we got some mushrooms I'm gonna cut these babies up now mushrooms I usually to tell you the truth I usually don't rinse them off because mushrooms absorb water like crazy so just I just go through and they're not they're like hydroponic anyway, so it doesn't matter. I just any little dirt or whatever I just brush off. So do that. Um, get the mushrooms nice. Okay, and just chop these babies up. You just want them th sliced fairly thin. Doesn't have to be too thin, just fairly thin. Watch closely. Slicing the shrooms. Slicing up the shrooms. That should be enough. All right, we got some wonderfully sliced shrooms there for us. And nextly, we're going to go ahead and slice the taters. Oh, just like. Maybe eighth inch slices. Looking good. I'm gonna put wet rag underneath this. As I'm sure you all remember the secret, keeping this uh, cutting board from sliding around, you just put yourself a rig, put the rig underneath, you know, keep it a little firm there. Alrighty, don't want these to mix together. Get out of here. Okay, slice up one more. Two, two taters. That's what we want. We got our two taters sliced up. Alrighty, got the shrooms, got the taters, got the pan, got the fish, we're ready. So we go ahead and uh, what are we going to do now? First of all, we're going to cook up these mushrooms in this pan right here, right here. 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the other pan for the mushrooms. Yeah, we're going to cook those babies up. And some garlic. Get out your garlic. And you know, as you remember, I'm sure, easy way to peel it, just smash a little bit. Smash that chunk. Silly, silly little garlic up. And the peels come right off. And this garlic, just chop it up, mince it up. Beautiful. Minced up. Nice and minced up there. A little bit of olive oil in the pan. You're gonna need a lot with mushrooms because mushrooms soak it right up. So I'm put a little bit of this garlic in there. And go ahead and put our mushrooms in. Cook these down to the real yummy. Good little yummy mushroom. Okay. Got your wooden spoon. Stir. Okay, we're gonna oil the cast iron. Oil that sucker up. And we're gonna put the taters right in there. Remember we got our oven preheating to 475. Okay, I'm gonna put some of the garlic. And I should put the rest of the garlic in. Now mushrooms got a lot of moisture already, so when, when you're sauteing them, they'll, first they'll be dry, then they'll soften up, and then they'll release a bunch of water. And you just wanna go ahead and keep cooking them after they release that water until that, pretty much all of it is evaporated away. And so we're just gonna mix, just go ahead and use your hands. Toss these taters with the garlic and oil. Yummy, yummy. Real easy. Just until they're all like coated. And try to flatten them out into like an even layer on the bottom there. And then go ahead and just throw them in the oven. And the shrooms are starting to give off their liquid, as I mentioned they would. I wasn't lying. Twarn't lying. Alrighty. Oh, I thought they'd get away. Get in there. Okay. So now we're going to deal with the herbs. Mmm. Yummy. Going to take some, uh, by the way, this is uh, fresh uh, flat leaf Italian parsley. And you can use any sorts of herbs that you want for this uh, recipe. Suggestions would be I, unfortunately, in my refrigerator, I only happen to have parsley and tarragon at the moment. 
so that's my choice is dictated by that. But tarragon's a real good herby for uh, fish, so go ahead and use it. Go ahead and work it, baby. Just want to get this. If you if you're like using a real tender stemmed herb like uh, cilantro or um, others like cilantro or uh, parsley or anything like that, you can uh, just go ahead and you don't need to separate all the leaves from the stems. Just go ahead and chop up some of the stems with it. I mean, not the big thick ones, but uh, the smaller tender ones you can just chop up with the herb. But something like this, tarragon, it's got a big woody stem on it. You would just want to get rid of that. So you want to remove the leaves. And let's go ahead and check on our mushrooms. You're going to want to leave your potatoes in the oven there for, I'd say, about 15, maybe 15, maybe 20 minutes. And our mushrooms are almost there. This should just be starting to get ni nice and brown. Beautiful. You don't want to cook it. Yeah, so they're done. You, know, you want to watch, you want to worry more about the garlic than the onions because you don't want that garlic to get too dark then it just gets too strong. And he loves garlic, but we don't love it when it's too strong. Okay, so anyway, now I got a nice pile of herbs. I'm just gonna chop them up. Chop them up very vigorously. Now very calmly. Okay, our herbies are all chopped. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our pescado, our fishies, And I got ourselves some uh, nice little trout fillets here. This rainbow trout, looks like. So, just gonna take the trout and just gonna cut a little slice in that sucker right there. Just wanna cut like on a diagonal, I think we've made this before maybe. Cut on a diagonal so you got yourself some slices there. Actually, I think we did this with turkey breast once, it's different. Keep going. Actually, try, try and do it with the grain of the fish. Be easier. And you want to cut it just about halfway through it. Try and leave the skin intact. Okay, next we're just going to take these her herbies and stuff them in there. Stuff them into the slices. Gonna make it all yummy. Hey, hey, there we go. And again, you can use any sort of herby with this. I would suggest tarragon, which we're using, or mint, basil chives thyme marjoram okay there we go kids I'm gonna wash my hands
All right, um, so let's see what else. Actually, I'm gonna take a short break and I'll be right back and I'll show you once, while we're taking a break, the potatoes will be done and I'll show you what else to do. Okay, be right back. Hey, guess what, I'm back. Um, okay, so anyway, we got potatoes are still cooking. Um, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make ourselves a little sauce, 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 sauce for the, for the, the dish, for putting on top of the dish. And the sauce that we're gonna make is, let me see. Where is my, there it is. Let me check on those taters. They're looking there, getting there. Almost done. You want them just at the point where they're tender because they'll cook some more with the fish and so forth. So that's, they're about cooked enough for now. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take the mushrooms. Go ahead. Now my lunch companion is not particularly fond of mushrooms, so I'll leave a little bit of this without the mushrooms. Okay, so Go ahead and do that, and then go ahead and grab your, your thong, I mean your, your tong, and uh, you can grab your thong too if you want. But go ahead and place the little pescado. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna do this finger-wise because otherwise we're gonna lose, lose our herbs. Don't wanna lose our herbs. And flip it over because you want the skin side up there. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? Put some salt. You want to season them. You want to season these suckers? So grab yourself some salt. A little kosher salt is what I prefer. Sea salt's fine. Don't care for the iodized. Okay, so go ahead and give it some salt there. Same for the fish. A little ground pepper. Fresh ground pepper. fish and I'll go ahead and put our fishies on there so grab um, just a second I'll be right back all right we're back so go ahead and put the fishies on there And put some salt on the skin side. You want the skin up so it gets nice and crispy in the hot oven. Go and pepper it. Alrighty, here we go. There you go, that's the way it looks. Wow, it's hot. So go ahead and fold this sucker up. There's how she looks, so you just put her in the oven. Okay, and uh, next, what we're going to do is to make a kleine salsa for the fishy. 
we're going to make a little sauce. Okay, so this one now, this is just an improvised thing. I don't know, it might, might be awful, or it could be good. But, um, but anyway, you just want to take some fresh herbs. I got some parsley here. Um, also, you want some basil, which I got mixed in there, a little bit of basil and a little bit of uh, mint. And you got one clove of garlic here. I'm going to wash off my knife. Knife is clean. You got yourself a garlic clove, one a garlic clove. Got some, uh, about a handful, a little bit less of uh, mm. of a sweet gherkin um, pickles. I was going to say pillows, pickles. And then you got yourself a little anchovy. Watch yourself a couple of anchovies there. And you got some black olives. Always always use black olives with the pits in. They're much more flavorful. Just take the pits out yourself. I don't know why, but it's true. So we got some nice Greek, black Greek olives. And this is a real little simple little salsa. We're just gonna basically chop everything together. I want to peel, peel the garlic clove. This is also good with capers. If you got some capers, you can put them in there. I don't have any capers at the moment. fairly finely chopped so just keep working on it Yourself a little, just like a little sauce for your own tap of the fish. It's sufficiently chopped. Um, what you're going to do, you want to bind it. So, you're going to bind it with a little bit of mustard, a tiny bit of honey, and a little bit of vinegar. Fishies. Looking good. It's 
smelling good. Okay, so we got ourselves some red wine vinegar. Put a little bit of that in there, just a touch. It's a little bit much, oh well. And some Dijon. A bit of Dijon mustard. A little bit of honey. Just like a squeeze. A little squeeze. And we'll put in some olive oil. Okay. Blend this sucker up. a little sauce for the fishy Whoop. and tell you what that's it um, just uh, let me clean up a little bit and I'll show you what the finished product looks like and we can eat okay, I'll be back okay you guys here it is the finished product we got ourselves our trout roasted trout if you can see it Roasted trout with uh, potatoes, garlic, mushrooms, olive oil, salt, pepper. Very delicious. And we got ourselves our nice little green salsa here. Um, salsa verde with, uh, it's got gherkin pickles, uh, fresh herb, mustard, um, black olives, garlic, olive oil, red wine vinegar. Okay, you guys have a great time. See you next time. Ciao.